Hi, this is Bishop Brenda Boss of the Southwest California Synod. Blessed Advent. This is actually my favorite season in the church year because it's so countercultural. While all of society is rushing around and thinking about Christmas and getting decorations and gifts and food, the church waits. The church knows that the Christ child has not been born yet and we're longing for him. And so we stop, we pause, we sit in the uncomfortable pregnant moment waiting for something important to happen. No other season of the church year is more framed in not yet than Advent. I invite you this year to think about the things you're longing for and wonder how Jesus might actually fill them. I don't mean that in some saccharine way where we just trust in Jesus and everything is going to be okay. But in wondering what a relationship with God, who came and lived among us, Emmanuel, when Emmanuel came to earth and took on a human body and grew up with a family, went to school, had friends, had teachers, and as he grew up to be the savior of the world, experiencing all that we experience, including death itself. How might that God know you, know your problems, know your joys, know the things that you are longing for? To me, that's what Advent is all about, really considering what the Savior of the world means to you personally. And then once it goes beyond personal, what does the Savior of the world mean to your congregation, to your community, to our nation, and to this world? This to me is the remarkable thing about the Christian faith, that one man whom we confess to be God walking among us, one person started a movement that is still affecting us all. We know that the church is not all it used to be, and frankly, I don't think it should be. I think God is in the middle of doing a new thing and the institution is failing because it should fail in some ways, but hopefully it's going to revive. It's going to resurrect as a new, more relevant thing. So perhaps the church is no longer the salt of the earth and therefore it's being cast out. Perhaps the church needs to come back to its first love, to Jesus. And in this Advent season, I pray that you will wonder, what can Jesus mean in my life now, in the lives of others that is relevant and life-giving? I think this is our call in the new year. And as we begin Advent, pray for that. Come, Lord Jesus, come. In our hearts, in our society, change us. May God bless you in this season of waiting.